how to fix page with redirect issues common causes of page with redirection issues for WordPress in the upcoming short video sessions I will show you places to check for DreamHost web hosting and VPS web hosting crazy domains if you're using GoDaddy I'll actually show you that as well and also I'll make a short video for blogger to as in where you meant to check for fixing redirection issues so let's look at WordPress in this video session when you log into your dashboard you got settings on the left hand side then you can press on permalinks here if you've made changes you want to triple check this because WordPress allows you to change the URL structure of your WordPress installation. Also, if you're using popular SEO plugins or free plugins for redirection for your WordPress site, then whatever Search Console example URL is, you want to double check any redirection rules within redirection plugins also since wordpress is popular and cpanel is also popular for web hosting i'll show you where to look for your redirection problems on cpanel when you log into your cpanel simply search the user interface for redirects press on that link because here depending on how you've installed WordPress you may have or your web developer may have set redirection rules so you want to double check these with any problem URLs as shown in Google search console then from your cPanel you can locate file manager and press on file manager then for self-installed WordPress sites we have dot htaccess file that's a hidden file if you cannot see it you need to press on settings and then you know select show hidden files because dot htaccess file may have rules for 301 redirection or it could have redirection rules for dub 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 versus non dub 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 all of which may cause page with redirection issues for wordpress if you're not using self-hosted wordpress installation perhaps you're using wordpress managed web hosting if that's the case, your web hosting provider may allow you to FTP into your installation. Because there you can then find .htaccess file to check any redirection rules. Also, for WordPress, I've actually created a couple of functions that you may like to use which will actually remove short links so I won't cover what they are for WordPress theme you have a file called functions.php you can locate through your web um, hosting installation directory and you can use the sample codes to remove WordPress short links which may conflict with the URL structure of a WordPress installation finally what you should be doing is you should actually export your wordpress installation the easiest way to do it is through your dashboard download the exported file and double check the entire website for url patterns that may conflict with the current url patterns used on your website Okay, so these are the places that you need to check 
for WordPress redirection problems. And if you know of any other ones, you can comment on this video session. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.